Welcome back to Euro Transfer Talk, the show where we round up the biggest rumours and headlines from across the continent. Without further ado, let's get cracking. We begin this week's episode at Milan. The Rosaneri have finally been put out of their misery, with longtime target Sven Botman due to complete his move to Newcastle this week. Although with Divock Origi due to be unveiled in the coming days, fans can at least look forward to their centre-forward options being strengthened next term. And they may not stop there, at least according to transfer journalist Ekrem Kanur, who claims that Milan remain in the hunt for Torino striker Andrea Bellotti. The Italian marksman will become a free agent once his contract expires this week, and is yet to put pen to paper at an another club, somewhat surprising given he's hit double figures in Serie A in six of the last seven seasons. But while there seems to be a general lack of interest in the 28-year-old, Monaco look most likely to land him, with Calcio Mercato reporting that they have offered him a three-year contract. What's more, despite Connor's claims, there is so far no concrete evidence that Milan have made any approach for Bellotti, despite multiple reports in recent months suggesting they remain the player's first choice. The Rosaneri have been more strongly linked with Sassuolo's Gianluca Scamacca, but his €45 million Euro price tag is reportedly too steep. Instead, Paolo Maldini and co have been working to secure a deal for Chelsea star Hakim Ziyech, who could join Romelu Lukaku as one of the first departures of the Todd Bowley era at Stamford Bridge. Fabrizio Romano wrote in The Guardian on the weekend that the Moroccan creator's salary remains an issue for the Rosaneri, while Sky Italia are reporting that the two clubs are at odds over what kind of deal should be done, with Milan preferring a loan with an option to buy and Chelsea favouring an obligation to buy. But Milan fans, are you excited by this potential deal? Is Ziyech the answer to Pioli's problem right-wing position, or are there better options out there, and should the club be battling Monaco for Bellotti? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Sticking in Italy for our second story, as it looks like Juventus are ready to kickstart their transfer window this week. Paul Pogba is set to join the club when his contract expires at Man United, and now Angel Di Maria, who at one stage was reportedly ready to reject the Bianconeri, looks on the cusp of signing too. According to Gazzetta dello Sport, the former Real Madrid star has chosen Juve as his next club, with Barcelona more concerned with tying down as Mandembele and Benfica, another interested party, having secured the services of David Neres. The old lady have apparently offered the Argentine international a one-year contract worth 7 million euros and see him as the ideal creator to supply Dusan Vlaovic next term. But that hasn't stopped Juve going after another attacking midfielder. According to Goal, they have open talks with Roma over the possibility of signing Nicolo Zaniolo, who scored the winner for the Giallo Rossi in the Europa Conference League final and is valued at around 50 million euros by the capital club. This would probably prove too steep for cash-strapped Juve, but apparently they are willing to use midfielder Artur as a make-weight in any deal. Given Roma have already signed Nemanja Matic though, this doesn't seem like a particularly tempting offer. But Zaniolo could nevertheless leave Roma this summer, with Gazzetta dello Sport reporting that the club have grown tired with constant transfer rumours that are perceived to have been engineered by the player's entourage. And while he remains a highly rated talent at 22, Zaniolo registered just four goal involvements in Serie A last term. With Tottenham also linked with a move for the youngster, the London club apparently favour a loan deal, and manager Jose Mourinho reportedly keen for the situation to be resolved as soon as possible, expect to see Zaniolo making more headlines over the next week or two. Before we move on to our next story, a quick reminder to subscribe to Euro Football Daily if you haven't done so already, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Another player who could be swapping the Mediterranean for the Thames this summer is Villarreal sensation Arno Danjuma. According to The Guardian, the Netherlands international has emerged as a top target for West Ham, who have already secured the services of centre-half Naya Fagued from Rennes for £31.5 million and have also agreed a permanent deal worth £11 million for goalkeeper Alphonse Ariola. With Andrei Yarmolenko leaving the club this summer and Mikel Antonio without competition at centre-forward, the Hammers are in need of extra firepower. But following a campaign in which he registered 16 goals and 4 assists in La Liga and the Champions League, Dan Juma won't come cheap. Amid rumours that they have submitted a €35 million Euro offer to the Yellow Submarine, there are also question marks over the forward's release clause. Back in February, Fabrizio Romano reported that it stood at €75 million, Euros, while Marcus suggested last month that it was in fact €54 million. Euros. Either way, if anyone wants to get Dan Juma out of Spain this summer, it will require a serious fee, with Football365 claiming West Ham could sell side Ben Rama to help raise funds for a bigger offer something that would surely be required if they want to target both Dan Juma and Chelsea striker Armando Brogia. Meanwhile, we could be seeing Declan Rice and the gang reunited with Jesse Lingard before the new season, with the England international set to become a free agent at the end of the week. 
According to Sky Sports and the BBC, West Ham have made an offer to Lingard's representatives, which is said to be both lucrative and long-term by Football Insider. Although Everton and Newcastle are also linked with the 29-year-old, we can see him returning to the London Stadium. Across to West London now, as speculation continues to grow over how Chelsea's summer is going to turn out. With chairman Bruce Buck, chief negotiator Marina Granovskaya and now technical and performance advisor Petr Cech having all left the club, new owner Todd Bowley is seemingly taking all the responsibility for their transfer strategy this window, with Michael Edwards, Paul Mitchell and Maxwell all linked with the role of sporting director at Stamford Bridge. But in the meantime, there is major work to do with the squad, and with the defence decimated by the departures of Antonio Rodiger and Andreas Christensen, centre-backs are clearly the priority. But long-time target Jules Kunde is not so central to the club's thinking now, with Juventus star Matthijs De Ligt now their number one man. And there's reason to believe that a deal can be done. De Ligt's release clause stands at an eye-watering 120 million euros, but as alluded to earlier, Juventus could probably benefit from a big windfall this summer. And with the Dutch defender's contract up in two years, this may be their last chance to make some money back on him. That being said, with Giorgio Chiellini departing for the States, Max Allegri could really do with holding on to De Ligt if he doesn't want to end up in a similar situation to Thomas Tuchel. Over the weekend, Sky Sport Italia reported that the Blues were ready to offer 45 million euros plus Timo Werner for the centre-back while Tuto Sport claim they are willing to use Christian Pulisic as a makeweight instead of the German forward. But now it looks like Chelsea have some ground to make up. Yesterday, Sky Sports Italia came out with a new report claiming that Juve are happy to take Timo Werner, but want 70 million euros on top to secure their prized defender. And if Werner isn't included, it's understood they would want 100 million euros for the 22-year-old. But how much would you be willing to spend on Delict if you were Todd Bowley? Let us know in the comments. We finish up with one of the more surprising rumours we've seen in recent weeks. That's because Spanish publication Mundo Deportivo are claiming that Atletico Madrid are after Tottenham defender Jafet Tanganga. The 23-year-old has struggled for game time at Spurs since making his first team debut in 2019 and despite being used a fair amount by Antonio Conte after his appointment last November, saw his progress under the Italian coach scuppered by a knee injury that has kept him out of action since February. And with Diego Simeone needing to strengthen at both centre-back and right-back ahead of the new season, Tanganga's versatility does make him stand out. The Spurs Academy graduate has played a fair amount in both positions over the last three years, even being used as a wing-back for one game by Conte last term. And while his relative lack of experience would surely be a concern for Atleti, he does seem to fit the profile of defender they usually go for, with strong defensive displays against top six rivals a feature of his young career. At the very least, he'd be a good rotation option, with Lon sensation Jonathan Klaus and Udinese star Nahuel Molina both linked with the Spanish Giants, with a view to being Simeone's starting right-back. But this story seems to be a non-starter, at least according to Tottenham expert John Wenham, who told Football Insider last week that Tanganga is very much in the club's plans for next season. The fact he is homegrown counts in his favour during a summer in which Harry Winks is likely to leave, and on top of that has the trust of manager Conte, who's been given a loss of control in the transfer market by Daniel Levy. It looks like Simeone will have to look elsewhere to strengthen his back line. So that's all we have time for this week on Euro Transfer Talk, but which of these stories are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, and why not click on screen right now for another great Euro Football Daily vid. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.